What's going on, everybody? Today, what we're going to do is we're going to create a character on Mare 4, my favorite game at the moment, blockchain game, of course. Then we're going to make up a first character. Well, not our first, because I have a few others. Um, but we're going to make an obelisk. Obelisk is one of the newest characters added to Mare 4. It actually is the newest character. And as you can see, it's a little petite young lady with two monster crossbows on her back. So let's create us an obelisk. Let's decide how we want her to look. I kind of like that look. Yeah, now we can customize. So, you can make her hair bright blue. Make it a little glossy. You have full customization over here where you can just change hairstyles into what best suits you. I actually like that. So then come over here, change the face, change the skin color a little bit, get a little bit of brightness to it, back her up a little bit so you can see. Complete with that. Then you can do our eyes. I like that. Don't want to mess with the makeup. Here we go, we do that. Do we want to have a mole on her? We don't want, she don't need a mole, does she? Nah, she don't need a mole. So once we look, Look and see if we have her looking the way we want. We can change our outfit. <coughs> like that's got better. Complete there. Primary color. I like that. So then you can go to a preview where you can see your character after you customize the You can see what you did. I like everything that I've done so far to her. I don't really want to change anything else. Create your character, enter her name. Do, 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 do. Oh, I need a name. I need a name. Let's try this name. I'm not sure if I use that. Nope, I did. All right, so there she goes. So now, once you do this, you're ready to start your game. And one thing I will say about Mare 4, and this will save you a whole lot of hassle, at the very beginning of this game, pay attention to everything that's on the screen. There's going to be a little tutorial, and the tutorial comes once. Once you, If you miss the tutorial, you can't get the tutorial to come back up without going to read the whole guide. Um you get a nice little cut scene at the beginning of this game. Shows this, this girl being hunted and the guy coming to save her. You can skip by this unless you really want to, unless you really want to watch it. After you make your first character, it's the same thing over and over, so you won't have to watch it anymore. Um, this is actually from in the middle of the game giving you a, a, a like a preview before the game starts. So once that happens, you come in and you start your game. And it's going to show you on the screen WASD for your buttons to move. As you come in and walk over, you're going to come into your first section of the game. All this is the very basics and foundation of your game. As you can see, this little spirit pops up. This little spirit will be with you through the rest of the game. And he is also your guide and your tutor. So during your tutorials, this little guy will pop up. Right now, you're talking to him. You're going to meet him. He's going to help you out. 
And as you get him, it's going to pop up in the screw on the side of the screen every so often. And he's letting you know he'll come back when he's needed. So as you get to different sections where you're needed, where he's needed to show you how to do new things, he's going to pop up like this. And direct you to the begin as, as you go along in the beginning of the game. As you do these first commands, he disappears. Because by the time he walks you through, you should be familiar with the commands of how the, the general workings of the game and the mechanics. So you don't know, you no longer need him until you progress further along in the game. Once you see him, you can, because you have the ability to skip past everything, be careful that you don't click on the screen because you will make him disappear and he won't come back for that section. He won't come back until you need him again. So this is basically the beginning of the game. You're really not doing too much. You're um, basically going through cut screens and learning the basic movements of the game, how to make your character, how to progress your character, move your character around. Um, and because this game is an RPG game, which is a role-playing game, there's a storyline that you have to abide by. So your character is, is placed in this story. And as you can see, it's showing you, once again, this little arrow, show you where you need to, what you need to do next. There's a little dialogue as you go through the game. This dialogue, as you make different characters, this dialogue doesn't change. The only thing that changes in this dialogue is your name because even though you can make multiple characters, you're playing the same story. So the beginning of this game is basically just to familiarize you with the movements of the game, the basic mechanics, how to find your quest, go about fulfilling your quest, and just, you know, how to pay attention to different things that's going to be on the screen. Because the areas in which you have to look for your notifications vary. They do go in different parts of the screen. So you'll be able to see everything you need to do. And it familiarizes you with being able to look all around the screen so that you can know what's going on and you don't get lost. But if you don't pay attention to that, certain areas you will get lost. You'll have to back chat and find out what you missed. And it's gonna cost you a little bit of time and just paying attention to as these things pop up on the screen, will let you know what you need to do and save you a lot of time and, and energy. So, this is basically the beginning of the game. You're going to continue on this. When I come back and I do another video, we're going to go along because right now she's at her early levels. She's level one. And let's see how long she got. Oh, she just went up to level two. So I'm going to play with her for a couple of days, see how fast I can get her up to um, level 20 and get her to be part of my clan. I already have, you know, you have to be a level 20 to even be in a clan and you have to have a certain power score to be in my clan. So I'm going to work her way up there and we're going to come back with another video and I'm going to show you how to increase your armor, your weapons and to earn different skills to progress you through the game even more and to earn to get you up to the point where you can get to level 40 where you can start earning the actual currency from this game which is called Draco. So right here we have our first boss mission. Let's see how she does at a level 2. I kind of like her. My other, my main character is a warrior and he runs head first in the battles. This is the first character that I have that really fights at a distance. So I got to get used to that, but I kind of like playing with her so far. So now that we finished our first boss battle, now we can progress and actually get the game to start.
So it took me, I want to say 10, almost 15 minutes to get to here. The beginning of this game, you will progress through your levels rather fast, um, earning different materials that you need is going to be easy. And once again, our friend is back. But as you get further in this game, it will be harder to achieve the different things you need to get. Now let's try the air walk. See the air walk button. So let's press this. And then we press it again. That's new. You earn points for that. That is new. That air walk is valuable. You cannot progress through this game if you do not perfect that. It's not hard to perfect. It does take a little bit of work, but it's easy to do once you get the hang of it. And once we get through this little spot right here, I believe this is the opening to the beginning of the game. Once we get here, we're going to conclude this video. And when we come back, we're going to start from the very beginning. This is just a prelude. So we're going to start from the early missions and work our way through what is mere for and how to progress your character up in the easiest and most proficient manner and the most balanced manner. And as you go through different um, areas of the game, these the cuts, the cut screen you just saw, a lot of times they give you variable information to help you progress in the game. Oh shoot, I got hit. I don't like to get hit. So what we're doing right now is trying to capture the girl that you've seen in the cutscene earlier. We have to go rescue her before the game can start. It's really a easy missions. So it's something that you can kind of click through, but you do get a tutorial through it. So just pay attention to it for the tutorial. Once you get past here and you get to where she is, you'll be able to begin your very first actual missions in the game. Like I said, all of this is your prelude. All of this is your tutorial. And just to get you familiar with the mechanics of movement and just different buttons on the game. And now we're gonna air walk, but we're gonna bounce off the wall. See how fast he came up? I accidentally just pressed the button and he disappeared. That's how fast he'll go away. And because this game is a Korean game, it doesn't have an uh, English audio track. So it's speaking in Korean. So if you make him go away and the words go, go the English goes off the screen, you're just going to have to really like figure out what you're supposed to do. At the beginning of the game, that's not a, a, a hard thing. Also, you can control your camera over here. I like to keep mine on manual so I can control it myself. Not realize that this was this small. And that fast, I am level three. I 
I just need to get through here real quick. So now that I've gotten to her, I have to get her out of here. Now, if you don't finish this part, you'll be stuck here. And you won't be able to actually start the game until you can get past here. And because your um your character has the ability to, to go up upwards over level 100. So this beginning part is basically a way to prove yourself. And there's a lot of a lot of parts of this game is like that. Your character has to prove that they're of a certain level of strength to progress, or you're stuck in that spot. Now I got some help. <clears throat> and as long as I can get out of here, I can progress. And now that I'm out of there, now I can actually start the game. Now I am at mission one for the actual beginning of the game. So on my next video, I'm going to walk through what each one of these symbols over here is for, how to access your menu. And before you even start going through these regular missions, I will familiarize you with all the different aspects of the game so that you can play it with easier and enjoy it in a more enjoyable manner. So I'm going to holler at you guys.